All right, this is a video about a uh, seven and a quarter inch compound sliding miter saw that I bought, as well as a uh, vacuum. So the saw is a 2733 model, and the vacuum is a 0880 model. But you can see I've had to add a part to make these two uh, devices work together. For whatever reason, when they made this product, they uh, cut a, a bevel on the end of this vacuum tube but it changes the diameter so it doesn't fit into the back of the vacuum. So you need to get this device, which I got at uh, Canadian Tire. So there's the price there, Milwaukee, you owe me $7.67. Take Canadian or US, it's up to you. Maybe you can make a, a better product next time around. So uh I have to fit this thing in there because uh, you can't get this to fit. You could go in there with like a, a saw or something and try to make uh, the taper fit, but uh, the problem being is that this doesn't work here. It does work with the uh, hand tools. You're able to get that right. I guess I'd have to make those fit together. But uh, for whatever reason, it uh, wasn't very smart to, for what they did there. Hopefully they don't run into problems with other products that I uh, try to use this vacuum with. It looks kind of unprofessional. That's what you got to do to, to make the vacuum work on the saw. I'm trying to do some work inside. I got to cover my speakers here with uh, some garbage bags and whatnot, but I got uh, quite a bit of trim here I want to finish off. I got an old 12 uh, inch saw that was uh, out of whack, so I decided to uh, go with this. And uh, yeah, that's a DeWalt stand here. I went and looked at the Milwaukee stand and I kind of laughed and uh, walked out of the store when I saw it. I didn't like the uh, supports on it, and it was only half the length of this thing, and it cost more. So uh, Milwaukee, you might as well make a better stand while you're at it too when you copied DeWalt's uh, product and actually made it worse. Normally when you copy something, you build on it, but uh, so they chose not to go that route. So uh, Milwaukee, you should be checking your tools to make sure they're compatible uh, when you release them the next time. Thanks.